Pat Whitehouse took the ferry to Ireland in order to film the activity on August Bank Holiday 1958 at the fair held in the small town of Ballinamore, which was also the principal town served by the Cavan and Latrim Railway, one of Ireland's famous narrow-gauge network, which had been decimated in the 1950s. The CNL was the last survivor of this network, as its purpose was to transport coal from the mine at Arigna for use in Ireland's coal-fired power stations. It was to survive another two years, closing in 1960. The mine at Arigna was at the end of the Drumshambo branch, which left the main line at Ballinamore, where the railway's works were situated. It had acquired a number of engines from other Irish narrow-gauge lines, numbers three and four coming from the Tralee and Dingle. The engine on the left was an original CNL 440 tank. In the station, we see the Erigno branch train, a mixed waiting for the coal train we saw earlier to arrive. This is headed by Trillian Dingle number 6T, a Hunter 260 tank. This would reverse here to go on the CNL main line. The Trillian Dingle had survived until 1953, cattle trains being its last function. These cattle are being loaded into the typical Irish cattle wagons, which had no roofs. Agricultural traffic had already been mainly lost to road transport, but here in Northwest Ireland, the railway still hung on to some of the business. The train was assembled alongside the goods shed with another Tralee locomotive, number 5T, ready to take it up the main line. This engine was a Hunslet 262 tank. The T in the number was to indicate an ex Tralee locomotive. The branch train is held to await a mainline one from Drummond, behind a former Cork, Black Rock and Passage 242 tank. Drummond was on the Sligo to Dublin main line, and the CNL formed a link between that line and the Great Northern's line to Belfast. Once again, the train is a mixed passenger and freight train. Rural Irish communities in the 1950s were very poor and still relied on rail transport, but not for much longer. And then we turn around and go and put a bit of coal on the table.